Today, we celebrate the 248th anniversary of the independence of the United States of America. It is July 4th, 2024, 123 days to go until Election Day and 46 until the Democratic National Convention. This is the morning. Today, we celebrate as Americans the day that ruptured history, that began a new epoch. When the white flag flew over the British lines at Yorktown, the young Major General commanding American forces, Gilbert Dumontier, the Marquis de Lafayette, remarked, humanity has its victory, liberty has its country. Lafayette prophesied that the new world, the United States, would be the salvation of the old. And it was as American forces stormed the beaches of France and liberated Europe from the darkness of fascism in the middle years of the 20th century. The July 4th independence of the United States of America gave rise to the most powerful nation the world has ever known. We are a nation today of 330 million people. Since our beginning, there have only ever been 700 million of us. At that beginning, there were 3 million Americans, 3 million who rebelled against the king, 13 states on the eastern seaboard of the United States that would go on to become what Churchill called the Great Republic. We are the only country made up of all of the peoples of the world, where every known language is commonly spoken every day. Our nation, despite all of its flaws and manifest hypocrisies, has done more good in the world than all of the other nations put together since the beginning of time. If the measurement is liberation, clothing, feeding, curing, the record of the United States and the improvement of humanity is clear. And our country over time has moved closer to its goals, to its charter. Today, it is true in America that all of us are created equal, endowed by a creator with inalienable rights that include life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Think about it. How radical a concept that the purpose of life, of government, is to secure the pursuit of happiness, not the service of a king or a dictator. This is a nation that places the citizen at the center. And we have rights and freedoms that have been handed down to us for us to be trustees of for every future American not yet born. We are obligated to hand to them a country that is stronger, closer to its ideas and its ideals. There has never been a tranquil or genteel period in American history. There has never been calm seas and placid waters. Never. This is a moment where Americans live in a tumultuous time, where there is an opportunity to participate, to practice citizenship, because our democracy in many ways is on the line. What will you do? Will you be in the fight or will you be on the sidelines? July 4th is a day famous around the world, a day of defiance and courage and hope. July 4th is America's birthday. It's one of the most important days in all of the history of the world. And here we are two years shy of the 250th anniversary of the American Revolution, of its declaration of independence in the middle of a most momentous election. The stakes are high on this July 4th. Freedom, as it has ever been, is precious, it's fragile, and it's on the line, always. We should remember that this July 4th. It is a day of hope and optimism, a day of gratitude, of remembrance and thanks, and responsibility and obligation. What a thing it is to be an American. We are the luckiest people on earth. Happy July 4th. I'm Steve Schmidt. This is The Warning, and I invite you to join, subscribe on our Substack.
on our YouTube channel. Follow us. Welcome to the community.